Hello class, Mom says here, signing on. This video lecture teaches you how to create a simple login form in NetBeans using Java GUI and connecting the form to database using JavaDB and SQL. Also included how to add database driver and import built-in class and methods related to uh, database connectivity. Let's begin! Before we start, may I remind you that um, the steps depends on the version of the IDE and the DBMS you are using. So in this lecture, we will use NetBeans 8.2 and Java DB, an embedded database in NetBeans. First, we will create the project. Course. Create the project. So, the usual, we click on File, New Project, and give some time to the IDE to bring up the New Project dialog box. And then in the New Project dialog box, click on Java and then the categories, and then click Java Application projects this is and then after that you um, click next then let's name our project again do not forget to uh, write your last name the first part of your project name name it login project your last name and then the name of the project login project then click the finish button then again you wait for the ID give some time to the ID to create the project Now let's create the form, the login form. Click on the name of the project package. Right click on it and then choose new and then click JFrame form. So we're about to create the login form. And then let's name the form. Again, do not forget your last name. Login form. So the name of our project is login project. And in the first form, we have the login form. And click finish. Size. This is our working area for our login form. So first, let's insert the panel. Click on the panel toolbox. 
under the uh, swing containers drag and drop it working area so the, the size depends on you it's up to you and then let's place an object for our username Just clicked on it and then drag and drop it. And then another or the icon movie. And let's add the text field. Click on it, then drop your desired location. Then let's have the let's insert the password field for the password. And let's add some button. Here's the button under the screen controls. Click on it and then drag. It's just so drag and drop. Let's have so this is for the login button. And then let's have another button for the exit exit button. Now let us rename the object. Double click it to rename. Let's change it to username. Do the same with the other. Password. We'll arrange that later. And then here we could place, if I clicked it again, then we could place. Welcome to login form. And let's simply move it. For your life to make the design this user friendly as possible and then here the button to rename it right click edit text login then right click edit text let's make it the exit button now we can edit our text here. So simply right click it and then choose properties. And we can now edit the font by clicking on the font ellipsis. And then you may change the font. We're done. For example, you can change the font style in the bold, and then change the font size like 18 for example, then click OK. Then let's have the font color, let's change the font color, it's up to you, whatever color you like. You can also have the foreground color. It should be the opposite color of the font, like um, this one. I think it's the same color. And what else we can insert the tooltip text here. The tooltip text is the text that will appear. Once we hover our mouse on this object, we'll see that later. So for example, we we'll put the two bits text here like welcome form. Okay. 
is make our object user friendly. And let's add burger. Put the value burger. So you can do all the formatting you like for that certain object. If you are satisfied, then I click closed. You can see the result of your work here. And in here, just click on the design, the preview design. So that's the effect of your work. And just close it. Now you do the same with the other object. By the way, I forgot. Um, let's again look at it in the preview design. Uh, let's see the effect of the tooltip text that we inserted. Let's hover on this over the mouse. So you see the, the text, the phrase we inserted in the properties. Welcome form. So that's the effect of the placing or inserting phrase or words on the tooltip text box okay now after editing the properties of the other label like the username password login and exit and resizing according to your desired size can now edit the uh, text field it, it's up to you whichever your object you like to edit the properties as long as you complete the GUI design for your login form so to format the text field you can click on it right click on it or you can also edit it here it's just the same with the right clicking so let's um, enter a tooltip text here I enter your username here something like that and then for the password field Let's add the tooltip text here, like enter your password here. You can see the purpose of this is to make your GUI as user friendly as possible. Remember that not all end users are IT oriented or programmer, so that they could have a guide to do to know what to do next regarding in using the form that you designed okay so you can also let's go back to the text field and remove the text here and change it that's what it is in the The same with the tooltip text. Let's take a look at the design. Okay, so that's how it will look like. Let's see the result of the tooltip text that you placed. Okay. form for our login project. 